Greetings and welcome back to Schrodinger's Cat and the Raiders of the Lost Quark. I am terribly sorry um, that A, uh, this episode is coming out quite late. Uh, the last episode is about two weeks back now. And B, and this is the thing that bugs me the most, I actually went through the whole game. Um, I finished it uh, in the last recording, but um, since I pause the recording um, every time I enter a new area, it didn't record the last bit. So the final boss fight, um, or the final two boss fights actually, uh, I have not recorded. So yeah, the worst thing is there is one cutscene missing, uh, which I can't really bring back. Um, especially with um, there being not really a save file, um, or at least not a save file I can go back to. And when I hit enter the enter the zoo, I'm in the final final boss fight. So um, let me bring you up to speed. What happened? Uh, again, I'm terribly sorry. I can't really give you the cutscene and so on and so forth because I don't have the footage. And yeah, I don't really want to play through that game once more. Uh, although I like playing it and so on and so forth, but um, yeah, that would be too much to be honest. So um, after I got to the uh, the core of the zoo, we found the little dude. Uh, we will see later the white dude. And actually, it turned out he was indeed trying to free the strange quark. So, um, a blackish thing you will see later. Um, and yeah, we tried to go ahead to save the day because, yeah, once the st strange is released, everything would uh, be strange matter once it get, got touched by the strange quark. But yeah, it didn't really work out. So, everything got hit by strange quarks. And all our friends turned into strange, and yeah, it was not very nice. So the first, yeah, boss fight you could say, um, it was a running game again. I had to flee from a horde of strange quarks. So the th the same thing we had earlier when we uh, got the um, hair of the Higgs boson. So not that much lost, I guess. Oh, um. The, um, the the little white guy who revealed himself, who ac actually freed the uh, strange quark, turned out to be normal. Uh, so he is called the normal, whatever, and he is the exact opposite of strange. He's a normal guy, and that's why he likes the strange. So what we have to do now, um, Schrodinger's cat actually escaped the strange. Um, got himself a boson, the hair of the Higgs boson, and now we have to try and find the normal while we avoid the strange quarks at the same time. And we have to hit the normal with that uh, set hair. So let's dig right this in is taking, like, and do the final seconds. boss fight. There we go. As you can see in the back, those are strange quarks, and he's up there. Um, so I can make, uh, do this. The Higgs boson actually cleans them. Oh, there's the white thing. There is him, and we have hit him once. And now we have to wait to get him. Um, this part was quite obnoxious. Oh, okay, he's down there because I can't go too fast uh, because, yeah, all the strange uh, popping out. Prepare to be normalized, yeah. Um, that would actually be quite nice. Okay, he's near. Yeah. And those little <laughs> punchlines are what. I like about this game so much. Whoa. Yeah, um, 
as this fight goes on, it gets more and more difficult. And I have to hear... Oh, damn it! My boson hit the strange. Okay, whoa. Yeah, I'm... I don't know what this does, actually. Uh... <laughs> right. Yeah, uh, we can't... Oh, there he is. There he is. Ah, we got him once. Awesome. Okay. Boop. Boop. Ah, we got him twice. And... Yeah, we can't use any... Oh, no! Sardonic <sighs> quick! I think I saw him there. Right. First time. No, I think he's down downwards. And the background of being, uh, of course, being a l a lot of strange. Physics part. Boop. First time. Whoa! I don't want to hit those. Clever line. Okay, second time. Now it's getting difficult. No! Oh no! I hit the strange again. And you prepare to get hit by a hair. Okay, he's senior. Where is he? To be normalized. Oh, ho, 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 Okay, he's down. Whoa! Ah, oh, our boson hit a strange lead again. Yeah, and now you can see why this fight is quite obnoxious. You have to be quite fast to get to the normal, but at the same time you have to look out for the strange leads. Ah. <laughs> Oh, wow, that was a close call. Oh, no. <laughs> ah, come on. There he is. Awesome. First time. I think he's up there somewhere. Yeah, he's quite near. There he is. Okay, last time. And let's be quick about it. I think the strangelets are following me right now. Okay. I have to go. Oh! Oh no! <sighs> Okay, he's not far away. Hey, I thought I hit him. It's always good when you uh, get the hint where he is uh, right at the beginning.
<laughs> ah, <laughs> boom, I got you now. Wow, that was a close one. Wow. Physics pun. Okay, there he is, and second time. Come on, say something. So, there somewhere. Okay, he's there. Yes! No! Uh, okay. It was a doubling. Kind of a weird bug. But I think we actually got him. <laughs> so she's your soulmate, is she? Yes! Yes! <laughs> well, why don't you introduce yourself? I'll even be your wingman! And that's what I call a pun. weird I think you mean strange <laughs> <laughs> and another science pun So, uh, yeah, that's the end of the game, Schrodinger's Cat and the Raiders of the Lost Quark. So, I think I will just let the credits go and afterwards in the menu I will share my thoughts uh, on this game with you, if you want to stay. So, yeah, see you when the credits are over. My little purple muchacho. Okay, and there we are. So the credits aren't that overly long. Um, yeah, this game was made by Team Seventeen. You might remember those guys from uh, Worms and. Um, what else did they make? I know of at least one other game, but I can't get the name of that. Anyway, so, um, yeah, we beat the game. Um, although I couldn't show you the par uh, this one cutscene where normal freeze, strange, and strange turns everything into little strange lads. So, yeah, again, I'm very sorry for that, and my deepest apologies. 
I hope you enjoyed this little boss fight anyways. So, um, yeah, my thoughts on the game. Um, I think the gameplay is very innovative um, in terms of uh, you have to get, have um, both hands on the keyboard, so the WASD keys and the arrow keys, whereas the uh, WASD is walking and jumping and so on and so forth and the arrow case for the quarks and um, I like that mechanic uh, quite a lot um, it is a little bit weird especially when you do those running puzzles um, I struggled with those uh, as you might remember but um, yeah all in all this game was uh, it, it was very much fun I, I love playing it and um, yeah, I, I don't know, it, it's a shame it isn't uh, very known, um, there are only very few Steam reviews, although it's only a few bucks on Steam, and yeah, the voice acting is really nice, um, the, um, the storytelling is uh, interesting, um, the whole backstory with the Particle Zoo uh, getting overrun by a an anti-strange um, that that is quite cool, and I like that very much. Um, we actually for, uh, have foreseen some of the story with the strange and that it may be freed and so on and so forth, but um, yeah, all in all, um, I was always really curious um, who this guy who wants to free the strange quark actually was, and um, yeah, that he was some kind of anti-strange. Um, we got that hunch uh, a few episodes back, but um, yeah, that it would be normal. Yeah, I, I like that. Um, I like where that was going. And yeah, so as I said, I liked it um, playing it a lot, um, but there are some bugs in this game which make it. Uh, harder to play and a little bit frustrating sometimes. So you might remember um, the, uh, this one particular level where I had to uh, fire a rocket, so two down quarks and an up quark or something like that, into a wall several times and um, those little triangles of the background wouldn't disappear so we couldn't jump down and we had to do it over and over and over again and that really, really annoyed me to uh, to a to a far extent. So yeah, that was one major bug. And the other one was with the leptons, which we are seeing in the background here, uh, with those large ones who jump up uh, and come down. Um, we didn't catch that one darn lepton just because of that bug. It jumped up and never came down again um, back at the uh, Higgs boson. And yeah, those definitely need to be fixed. Although I don't know if the de developers will ever go ahead and release a bug for this. Uh, a bug, yeah. Uh, there are enough bu bugs in this. I mean a patch. Um, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Um, anyways, I would definitely recommend this game if you want to play it um, by yourself. Um, the gameplay is weird at the beginning, but you will get the hang of it quite soon. And yeah, it's it's cool to play. Um, you might uh, do different thing or do things a bit different. Um, use other um, core combinations and. Maybe get all of the uh, the uh, particles back into the particle zoo, um, other than I did. And um, I don't know. Maybe uh, you will get uh, another cutscene with that or something. I don't know. Um, that would be interesting, though. Yeah. Well, go ahead. Try. Maybe you get something out of it. If you do, please contact me. I would uh, really much like to know that. So, anyways, thanks so much for watching, for sticking for the whole series, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this last episode, the final boss fight, and um, yeah, if you want to check one of my other series, 
maybe uh, my Strangeland series or um, the Town of Salem series we recently started, yeah, go ahead uh, and check my playlists or my channel. And yeah, if you'd like, subscribe to my channel as well and you won't miss an episode. Um, there will be a new indie game coming um, next week, I guess. I won't tell what it is, but yeah, look forward to that as well. So, I would say, until then, yours uh, faithfully, the Pestafarian. <laughs>